What's going on, viewers? I'm Brady Gabriel 95 back with some more Dixie Cones Double Trouble. Last time, I actually did it. I got 103%, and I can actually get rid of this. Go ahead and copy this file over to number one. Go ahead and delete this file. I'm doing some file management here because you'll see in a little bit. You'll see what I what I'm about to do in a little bit. I have this file for a particular reason. There's something there's some interesting things that I'd like to show you on this screen. That you can switch the language to French in the North American version for some reason. You can do this in DKC2 as well, but why would you do that if you can't speak the language? Change the sound of stereo to mono, I believe. There's actually a pretty interesting sound that plays only on this screen, not anywhere else. You hear that? Sounds like a, a steam engine, doesn't it? Not a steam engine. A steam on a boat. I don't remember what it's called. But I actually plan on showing off some cheats for this video. I believe if you press... I think it's L R R L R R L R L R. Yes! This is how you can enter cheat codes. Some codes you can enter are... Where is it? Color. If you enter color, you can actually change the colors of Kitty and Dixie to their two-player color scheme. If you hear Dixie crying, you've entered the correct code. R R L R R L R L R. We can enter... Uh... Oh, here's an interesting one. If you type in Mary, this is a pretty interesting code. Where is it? M E. R R Y. You're probably wondering what that's supposed to do. Well, let's go into. Oh right, I'm at Wrinkly Safe Cave. Funky's Rentals. I need to go into a level to actually show off what Mary does. But this is basically what uh, Dixie and Kitty would look like in two-player contest. The colors of the flags will actually change accordingly as well. Let's just go into any old bonus level. Let's, like, say the very first one. Then I can show you what that Mary code is supposed to do. Alright, it's right here, I believe. Yes, get rid of this guy. Go ahead, have Dixie throw Kitty into the bonus barrel. You hear that? Jingle Bells are playing. This is what the Merry Code is supposed to do. Changes every bonus stage to Christmas themed. I know it's not Christmas when I'm posting this, but I just thought I'd show this off. Okay. And that's not all that it's supposed to do. It actually changes the 15 bananas as well. And somehow I failed to show this off, but since I'm here... If you go beyond the bonus barrel, there's a green balloon. Okay. And the bananas become presents. Okay. It's funny how both the first bonus and the last bonus are pretty easy. Okay, and since I'm here, there actually aren't too many uh, glitches that are outright game breaking in this game. There's one that I can't show off though. Actually, I'm going too far. All I need is Dixie, Kitty, and Ellie. It's actually possible to get Ellie up here. Normally you can't. Let me see, I just need to do this, hop on Ellie quick. No, I didn't do it fast enough. Oh no, I know how to do Okay, jump! And then get on top of Kitty. There we go. To get both the Kongs up here, just have Kitty throw Dixie. And that's how Ellie can get up here. You could find out here that Ellie would float on the water, but. Hey, how would you know that, you know? And on top of that. 
Ellie is not afraid of the sneaks because she's not meant to see them at this point. Huh. It's actually kind of funny, uh... That whole thing about elephants being afraid of mice? That's not true. I may have actually added some text saying that in World 1. See? That's pretty much the only major glitch that I could think of. Okay, so in order to show off some more of these cheats, I have to reset the game. Alright, since I reset it, I can... Oops! As we just my controller and hit ZR, I can skip that since I reset it. Okay, shoot. Ah, I screwed up! I was supposed to type the combo. There's no way we can go back to the file select screen once you start a file. Okay, let me try that again. L R R L R R L R L R. This game, you can actually access a sound test in this game as well. And unlike the second game, you can do so anytime by pressing that button combo and typing the word music. This will take you to a sound test. Also tells you all the names of the songs. Enchanted Riverbank. I don't know if I call that enchanted. Treetop tumble. Is that a? No, that's not it. Cascade keepers, boss boogie, big boss blues, bonus time, fanfare. I think that's all right. Yeah, that's the uh, the thing. Wrinkly safe. There are actually different things for wrinkly safe cave as well. Oh, that was weird. Wrinkly can be found sleeping, and this is actually the theme that's supposed to play. Get fit a go go, we heard at the uh, beginning of the game. Now, Wrinkly 64 is when Wrinkly's playing on what looks like a Nintendo 64. This game did come out after the N64's release. We'll get into those themes in a little bit. Or the Cribosphere, Submap Shuffle, Kermitora Concerto, Hot Pursuit, Crystal Chasm, Rocket Run, Baddies on Parade. What a weird theme for it. Game over. I'll go over that in a little bit. Jangle Bells, which is the Mary music, and Mama Bird. Press start to exit. There are a couple more codes you can enter as well. Now, when you enter a cheat code, it actually determines how long it stays in effect for. If you enter it on an already complete file, or file already taken, it will only be temporary. But if you enter it on a blank file, it will become permanent. R R L R R L R L R. There are actually a few more codes that we can enter, that I can enter rather. There's a harder code. H A R. Past it. D R. Because you can only fit five letters. The harder code removes most of the DK barrels and the checkpoints. If you enter the toughest code, on the other hand, which is T U F S T F S T that removes nearly all of the DK barrels and checkpoints, exceptions being the bosses, and it allows you to go for 105% completion. And you know what? Um I believe there is a code to get extra lives as well. I think it's simply lives, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see if that's correct. Yes, that code gives you 50 lives. I gathered the 50, the several lives I have in the Lost World legit, because if you enter any cheat that makes the game easier, you'll earn the rank of cheat and chump. There's actually another code that we could enter that makes the game easier. We could type an A save. A save will cause the game to automatically save every time you complete a level. And then there's one more cheat that you can put in. This is probably a big one. The biggest one aside from toughest. Let me see. No, no, no. Water. Water is what I'm trying to enter. Water. Right? 
Yeah, whatever. Just press start to play. Alright. I can go ahead and skip this because I know how this works. So the water cheat code allows you to swim up to this waterfall and you get a one chance game of Simon that gets you all the bonus coins if you succeed. If you go to Boober after doing this, he will actually be surprised that you have all the bonus coins. Now, uh, a little bit of an extra thing. We never did see the game over screen for this game because I had more than 70 lives, I believe, at the end of it. <clears throat> so give me a second to go back to my old file, drain myself of all my lives, and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I reduced my life count to zero. I don't need to show you guys anything too specific. There is a little something about this game over screen that makes it stand out from the other two. But I'm going to give it to you straight. So if you get a game over, your lives go from zero to blank. And... You see what I'm doing? It's a little unsettling, but you can actually you can actually play with the blocks. And the blocks that you can play with actually correspond to the colors of the button seen on the Super, Super Famicom, as well as the European Super Nintendo. This is not possible in the Game Boy Advance remake, and the music is also completely different. See, I'm hitting A, B, X, and Y. I'm not sh entirely sure why you can do this, but you can. And usually I stop the video at that point, but there are a few more things that I need to show you guys. Okay, so we never did see Swanky, si Swanky Sideshow, so I'm going to go ahead and show that off. Let's just go to, oh, any old level. Sure, like a Rekatanga. Okay. Swanky Sideshow in Lake of Rangatanga is all the way over here. Well, would you believe it? Hello, Kongs! Welcome along to my own new bonus tent! My show's on the road and it's in every land. The cost of this game? Two coins in the hand! There are some great prizes in offer today, so come on in and choose to play. Just do that and you're away. So come on, Kongs, and have a go. You could well win, you never know. Alright, so two coins will allow us to play three different games. We can play head-to-head, -head, race to 25, or endurance. Today's contest is a throwing game with a difference. The happiest player at the end wins. So, you've reached the bonus game then, have you? It's not a simple game of questions and answers this time, though. Now you've got to beat yours truly if you want to win any prizes. So head to head, there's the head meters on the on the right. We basically want to have a higher score than Cranky. That was easy. Head to head's probably the easiest. Oh, so you managed to fluke victory, huh? I'd like to see you try again. There's a really funny animation that Cranky has, and I hope I get to see it. Let's have a big round of applause for our contestants. You can get a bunch of bear coins and banana bunches this way. But I chose not to go for Swanky Sideshow because your lives are not saved. So it wasn't worth it in my opinion. Alright. So now it's time to show off. Reese to 25. It's basically what it says in the 10. You have to reach 25 points. If you get to beat, if you fool like you could beat me, I'll eat my hat. You don't have a hat. Okay. So I guess this is good practice for, uh... Oh, what's his name? Bleak, I believe it is. Oh, actually got him. Nice. Okay. Oh man, Cranky's catching up fast. Ooh, I actually got it. 
Oh, and I counted. Nice. And Cranky's catching up real fast, man. Okay. Well, I got the higher score, so I still beat him. Did you see my last shot? It went clean through the target! Honest! Hey, I think you've played this game before, haven't you? You will get a small consolation prize if you lose. Which I might do because this last bonus game is the hardest of the three. Endurance. Today's event will be a throwing game. The longer it lasts, the bigger the prize. Oh, I actually almost got him, wow. Got him! Oh, see if I actually flew- Yeah, he said that before. Hooey! That's the hard one, that's a hard one. That's one of the best performances that I've seen in a long, long time! Hmm, it sucks that I didn't get to see the funny animation. I'll try again, see if I can get it. Make sure it's head-to-head. -head. Okay. Come on, Cranky, you're getting soft. Okay, come on, let's see it, let's see it. You only had to blow your targets for them to fall over. I believe the endurance game gives you 60 seconds at most. So you basically have to last almost that long to be cranky in that one. Make sure it's head to head. Okay, yeah, uh, let's skip that. Ha, huh, nice one, cranky. Ugh. Dude. Well, that's what I get for taunting him, I guess. Was that the best you could do? You need to eat more bananas. That's basically the losing animation. Nobody goes home empty-handed on this show. Here, have some bananas with my compliments. He also gave us a bear coin for that. Okay, come on, I really want to see the funny animation. It's glorious. Man, Cranky is starting to play hardball. No pun intended. Come on, I just want to see the funny animation. Hey, hey, hey. Uh. What? Alright, it's clear that this is going to take more than one attempt, so... Give me a second. I'm going to stop the recording. I'm going to see if I can get the funny animation. Alright, let's see if I can get the funny animation this time. I have a few bear coins to work with. <laughs> Give up now, save your money, yeah, sure. What? Really? 
Are you serious? Maybe I should try race to 25. Okay, come on, I'm pressing B. Does race to 25 generally takes longer? Maybe I should try that. I don't want to do endurance, because that's just too hard. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, if it stops freaking showing up for him first! Okay. Usually it's supposed to just stay in the center, so... Yeah, so... Oh my lord! For some crap like that happens. At least he didn't have to hit the dead center of the target. You just need to hit the target. That includes the little crocodile. Okay. I still got the higher score, so I'm still winning. Nice. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Come on. That's it. Come on, can I get it? You froster! I'm off to consult my lawyers about this! No. He walked off, but that wasn't the funny animation. Somehow I don't think the prices are gonna change, Swanky. Just saying. Uh, I really don't want to do Reese 25 because it takes a while. But apparently I can't win head to head all of a sudden. Even though I won the first try, no problem. You know what? I believe there's even a draw theme. Maybe I could, uh... Maybe I could actually show that off here. Oh my lord, stop going to the freaking corners! I gotta stay ahead of this old timer. Ah, he's catching up. Yeah, because they keep freaking showing up for him! Great! Are you serious? I keep getting my ass beat here! Look, they keep showing up for him! This is shit! Are you serious? It's the draw theme, yes. Y you appreciate, of course, that in real terms, I was the actual winner. There's no way I could split the two of you with that titanic battle. Have these for your efforts. Well, if I keep the recording, at least I... If I keep... Yeah, if I keep the recording, at least I, uh... Manage to show that off. But seriously, why can't I be cranky all of a sudden? Of course, it also doesn't help that those freaking targets keep showing up for him first. Yeah, all this just to get the funny animation. Okay. Okay, this time I'm far ahead of Cranky. Come on, please let this be the one that gets me it. Oh my lord, really? Okay. Really? Piece of... Okay. Yeah, right at the dot. Let's see. Ah, come on. I might keep this recording anyway, just so I can say I showed off the draw animation. Okay, come on. Come on, game. Give me the funny animation, please. Give me the funny animation. Race to 25 again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. If you really want to see the text, I'm sure you can pause it. Stop going to the quarters! Oh my lord! Stop going to the quarters! Oh my lord, really? 
Like, not even a second later. Okay. That's so good distance ahead of him. Nice. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Okay, come on. Give me the funny one, please. Hey, hey, you cheeky monkey! Have this as a bonus prize! <laughs> that was pretty amusing, but that's not the one I was talking about. <laughs> so look, I actually gained three lives trying to get this thing, even though I'm not going to be using them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay. No, not good enough, apparently. Okay, good, good. Doing good. Yeah, now things are getting lightening up. Before, I couldn't even beat this guy. Stop going to the corners! Seriously, stop going to the corners, game! Okay. Okay, come on, let's see it, let's see it. Ay ay ay. I wonder if I'm supposed to win by like one point or something. I don't know what determines which animation plays out. Mm. Okay, race to twenty five. Would love to do head to head, but all of a sudden I can't be cranky at that apparently. Okay. I wonder if the text it says at the beginning determines it. Oh jeez, he's catching up. Okay, good, good, good. Good, no. Crap. Because if, if that's the case, the his text at the beginning, then I might actually see that. Come on! I might actually see the funny animation yet. Let me see. Okay. There it is! Get out of my tent now, you cheeky ape! Wait till I tell your parents! <laughs> That's the animation I was talking about! Yes! I finally got it! Just under 10 minutes in, too! <laughs> yes! I finally got it! Took a lot of effort, but I did it. Okay. The last extra thing that I have to show you now... ...is, uh... ...this house up here. Blunder's Booth. This brother's bear, as I said before, is not at all important to the story. But he give, he's supposed to give a hint about the Lost World. But we found it first, so... I've been watching your progress for a while, Kongs. The name is Blunder, but you can call me Mr. Blunder. I can't believe you found the Lost World on your own. I bet you cheeky so-and-so is using Thunder Power's guide. I know I did. So that's what happens if you manage to find the Lost World without ever going to Blunder. But what happens should you go to Blunder immediately after clearing Cranewood Forest? He actually has some dialogue as we progress through the game, and I'd like to show you that right now. So give me a sec, I'm going to go to a different save file, and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I'm actually recording this uh, pretty far... Uh, before when the game is actually beaten but I just wanted to show off uh, this house over here this is one of the brothers bear named blunder blunder does not actually do anything to help your uh, main quest or the trading sequence and because of that I'm willing to bet not many people show him off 
you can actually go to blunder for certain parts in the game at certain points in the game for well you'll see I've been watching your progress for a while, Kongs. The name's Blunder, but you can call me Mr. Blunder. So you think you're going to find everything in the game, eh? You didn't even know there's a lost world, do you? Whoops, I think I just let the cat out of the bag. So this is actually a copied file. I copied the second one to the third one. And I'm going to be showing off his, ver his many lines of dialogue at various points in the game. So with that, I'm going to move on to the next part, and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I just finished up to Mechanos. I'm only going to show one bit of, of uh, Blunder's dialogue. I, kept one, I keep wanting to call him Boomer, Baffle, and all those other names. Basically, as you progress through the game, Blunder is supposed to give you hints about the Lost World. Like so. How's it going, you were with Kongs? I'm not surprised you're stuck. You haven't even searched around the rocks. Oh no, not again. I can't believe I just said that. Upon beating Chaos Core, he will outright tell you that you're supposed to go fast around the rocks. I did not feel like doing that, so I'm just going to go ahead and unlock the Lost World again. You can unlock the Lost World as soon as you have the Turbo Ski. There it goes. Alright, so if you have gotten B uh, Blunder's Health, there you go again. Blunder's Help, H E L P, and talk to him after finding the Lost World. So you found the Lost World then, have you? Big deal! You'd have never found it without my invaluable help! So Blender basically credits himself for finding the Lost World. If you're wondering why I showed off Blender, it's because, like I said, he's never required for anything, therefore no Let's Player ever shows the guy off. So I figured I might as well be the one to do it since nobody does. So I have a couple of extra things to, wor to show you guys. And I have a little bit of explaining to do regarding the Lost World, so give me a sec to restart the recording and I'll be right back. Alright, so I just got a couple of miscellaneous things to talk about now. For example, this game sure reuses a lot of sounds from the second game. The extra life sound is reused. The Kong letter sound is reused, even the bear coin sound is reused. The DK barrel sound is also reused. I probably should have gotten hit by the guy so I could show you. Alright, so uh, there's a DK barrel head. There's the bear coin sound, the extra life sound. Now if that sneak would go away, I can show you the DK barrel sound. Are you serious? Get out of here! Right. You hear that? The only difference is that the DK barrel sound actually pauses for a second. If you're wondering what the character's idle animations are like, it's kind of strange because only the front Kong will actually do it. The second part of Dixie's idle animation was removed where she drank a banana milkshake. She just chews gum now. Kitty, on the other hand, has a much longer idle animation. You might have seen it during the final boss. But as you can see, for some reason, the Kong in the back, who's darker, they just walk in place. Hardware limitations, maybe? Which, the N64 came out when this came out, so you'd think they would have figured them out by this point. Yeah, that's Katie's idle animation. No, I actually had the right combo. If you're wondering what Kitty's idle animation looks like when he's uh, left alone, it's really nothing special. He is vulnerable in that state, just as Dixie is, so make sure he doesn't get hit. Alright, I guess that'll just about do it. Although, like I said, I do have a bit of explana explaining to do regarding the Lost World. Uh, I guess I'll do the bonus game while I'm explaining this. So, so this series, 
was utter hell for me to produce. You may have noticed, even though I said there will be jump cuts, there are actually fancy transitions. That's because in between recording sessions, I was able, I came, came across a large, a lot of, a large amount of money, and I uh, was able to get advanced video editing software. More specifically, it's VideoPad. I love this editor. It does everything that I wanted to do. The only complaint that I have is I can't change the color of the text, but it's not like I don't have um, opacity dimming or whatever. As for why I used Restore Points in the Lost World, at the time of recording this, it is mid-March 2020. I started this series in February to mid-February 2020. Unfortunately, my mom, working for a school district, ended up getting President's Week off. Not just President's Day, President's Week. President's week. Sorry about that. So, like I said, I'm still living with my family at the time that I'm recording these first Let's Plays of mine, so it's hard for me to record with my family home because they could call me down for any reason, especially on Sunday when Sunday's chore day for them. You know, like I said in the Lost World, I was ready to move on with my next Let's Play, and I am. I actually have an idea for my 10th Let's Play. But I'm not entirely sure how that's going to go because it involves sampled music. And I just, I'm just i just going to have to see what happens. Okay? That's why I use Restore Points because I want to move on. I was so done with this game because it's hard. I consider the third Donkey Kong Country the hardest of the original trilogy. Especially in regards to going for 100%. Or I should say 103%. Like I said, you can go for 105% if you use the toughest code, but I was not going to do that. I was not going to torture myself with the removal of DK barrels and checkpoints. Because this game's already hard enough as it is. As for what I plan to do for my ninth Let's Play, I plan on doing a shorter indie game. I'm not entirely sure what my plan for that will be. But I have an idea. It might be a Switch game. A Switch game, more than likely. Or a game on the Switch. <sighs> I guess that just about wraps up my two cents for this series, huh? I'm glad that I was able to get fancy video editing software at last. Which is especially good because I've been going through, through some rough times at work right now. I don't think I should go into detail. I never talk about work on the internet after all. So I guess I'll wrap this up, and then that'll just about do it for DKC3. I'll see you guys next time for my next Let's Play. See you later.